Alrighty, hi everyone. Um, and once again, um, I'm working on my Final Fantasy XIV blog right now, but I, I've got a new, or I was just showing a new team that I started using. And uh, instead of having to go through the whole ordeal, having to type, type out what it does, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a video about it. So, so I've done this before, and this time, um. At the risk of having my, uh, at the risk of having my video copyright claimed, or, excuse me, at the risk of having my video copyright claimed by YouTube, um, I'm gonna go ahead and have some, um, uh, lo-fi music playing in the background so it's not just total silence. Okay, uh, I, got, I do have to sound check this. I'll stay close enough on that. All right, so so let's go to my let's go to my new build, and um and I'm just gonna go ahead and pick explore. Uh, I'll just leave it at that. Yeah, difficulty four. All right. Okay, so, um, to start with, now, this guy here, he's, for the most part, empty weight, or he's most, he's mostly just dead weight because I don't use this guy's ability at all. Mainly what I have, mainly what, uh, mainly why he's there is mostly for this gain 100% gold from battle um I, I've, I've seen this stuff here at the top of the screen here at a glance I hadn't really paid much attention to it but uh the the main focus though is the upper left corner or the upper left area here you as is obvious you can acquire gold during uh during battle up to a maximum of 200. Well, by default, it's 100. But again, because this money bag's here, it doubles to 200. So, but that's pretty much all he's there for. And this girl here, Egg Thief, she's the jab. You know, like in boxing, yeah, she's the jab. Um, and whenever you match four or five, you get a little bit of gold. Um, just like the guy on the top, she can't be targeted, and she has a da chance to dodge skull damage, but a big one. Um, destroy random gems boosted by my gold. I mean, right now, it's the boost is only plus three, and you gain ten gold on top of it, but when you can get your gold here, to the max, it will literally clear the entire screen of gems. And on top of that, if uh, if old uh, Cedric up here is dead as a doornail, then she'll summon dragon eggs up at the top. So, but like I said, she's the jab, and. And once again, as, as said in my other videos, um, when you're destroying unmatched... Oh, whoa, 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 let me... Oh, she's not exploding them. Okay, I just now noticed this. Okay, so, playing this earlier, I kept thinking she... I kept thinking she exploded them. But no, I... Didn't read the fine print. But yeah, all their... Their... Destroying gems, removes them from the board, and you're getting full mana from each one. But uh, on the downside, destroyed gems don't count as matches. So in other words, you're not gaining the bonus gold on four or five gem matches or anything like that. 
all you're getting out of them is the mana. So, so this guy here, he is the knockout blow. And I do need to show this. Um, for the longest time, my main class was Titan, but now I switched to Thief. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, um, a guy named DJ Screw is the one who turned me on to this, to this uh, whole build here. Um, but whatever you, whatever you match four or five gems, you'll harder's mark a random enemy, meaning they take double damage from Skull. So you, hopefully, you'll get lucky, and the one that gets harder's marked is the guy on the top. So. And you'll deal seven damage to last enemy on four or five matches. Start with uh, fifty percent, or start with half mana, and same with uh, egg check. And here's a bit. Here's the big one right here. So, the guy at the top, not quite the most tankiest in the world, but on the upside, whenever somebody dies, there's a thirty-five percent chance that a, a bandit will take the dead ally's place. So. So this guy goes bye bye. If she hasn't, if she hasn't already put a dragon egg on, on top, then there's that 35% chance that a bandit will be up here. So but again, uh, but now on to the main weapon here, skeleton key. Whenever um, when it, it deals 23 damage to the first and last enemies, boosted by my goal, um. I don't know the exact number. I think it's around 90 ish. Or, or no, when the gold is at the max, um, total damage, it comes up to around 90. 90 points of damage to the first and last enemies. And if one of them dies, you get an extra turn. So. And this guy, same thing. He gets extra gold on four or five gem matches. And at the start, this can be good or bad. It explodes a brown gem at the start of battle. And then he starts with full mana. His ability being, he gains gold equal to his life. And then after that, he gains 15 life. So his, his life is 43. Yeah, so 43. 43 and then the next time you use it it'll be 58 so and you get an extra turn on top of it so let me go ahead and do a sample so we'll start with him and he gained 86 um how he did that I don't I don't know but I'm um, not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth either so now from here on out your goal will be to try to match green, will be to match reds and greens. So there's that. Much for that. Oh, here's a green. All right, so let the blowing up commence. He's full, so we'll cast him again. And that'll get him straight up to 200. And I need to check something. Hold on. I think I might have messed up. Okay, it's in there. It's in there. It's in there. I was playing footsies this morning. A game called footsies this morning. And um, I had it um, on my OBS program. I had to turn off capture cursor. But I thought maybe I might have forgotten to turn it back on. But, but anyway. So... My gold is at the max, so my skeleton is cocked, locked, and ready to unload, so... And if you look here, 23, and at the boost, plus 68, so it's 80, yeah, so it's 89, so 90 points of damage. Killed them both, and you get an extra turn on top of it, so rinse and repeat. Oh, and also, if, if you can remember to, I don't always, because sometimes I get into a rhythm, if you find a... Uh, brown four matches see again she's destroying gems not exploding them 
So, all you're getting out of them is mana. So, I would probably say, especially true for Browns, for a Brown 4 or 5 matches, grab them first. You might get a mana surge out of them, this will shoot it up to 15, so. And, and also as stated before, you don't use this guy's ability. Like I said, he's the only reason you have him there is just the uh, double gold. That's it. So, once again. And he's up. But, that's the short, but that's the short of it. Now, he told me, and I kind of agree with him. Here, let me... So... But he said that uh, you only want to do PvP and difficulty 4 or difficulty 5. But as, as curiosity has got the better of me. <laughs> I'm going to difficulty 12. So, but again, I don't, I don't hope to win this or anything. But I just want to do it just to see how far I get. So the highest difficulty in the game. And again, shoot it up to 96. And it's probably a good way to demonstrate the um, the revolving door of tanks that I'm hoping to get up here. So. And again, and again, I'm looking for greens and reds. All right, there we go. And now, cast that to max out the gold. And got lucky once again. that did it well that's one down but again you see the round four matches go for him Yeah, that is that is one drawback. One drawback to this build is you're gonna be hearing you didn't need it anyway, constantly. So, but like uh, but as the guy on top died after I cast that ability, Dragon Eggs is up there. And I think there's a. Uh, so even if you kill this uh, dragon egg, there's a 25% chance that a baby dragon's gonna take its place. But like I said, there's gonna be a whole revolving door of tanks up here.
Oh oh. But like I said, if things go right, you'll constantly have a tank up here, even after the previous, even after one dies. So. No, oh, did it. No, as far as being able to do that on a consistent basis, uh, I got my doubts, but... But anyway, um... So, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, call it good there. Because uh, I still need to keep going on my blog post. Um, but, yeah. Uh, but thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it, and... I mean, back to work. <laughs>